Hey guys, it's Alex here, back with another Yulia commentary. And today we're going to be talking about how to tell if your iguana is sick. I just recently got a request to make this, so I decided to make it my top priority video. So, um, this is going to be a pretty quickly made one. So, if you notice any editing errors or stuff I missed, sorry. And, uh, just ask me in the comments if you want me to clarify anything. So anyways, let's get into the video. So there are plenty of things you're going to notice if your iguana is sick. I'm just going to go over the most basic things that'll happen once your iguana has come down with something. The first thing that's going to happen is that they're going to start avoiding their salad and not eating all of it. That can happen because of a lot of things though. So unless multiple signs are happening, I wouldn't take this into consideration for sickness just yet until you notice other things with it. Now with avoiding the salad dish, there also comes some pretty apparent and visible signs of sickness, um, which comes in the form of uh, excessive sneezing and diarrhea. Those are two very common signs that you'll pretty much easily pick up on every single time you Your see it. Your iguana may also become lethargic and stop moving around the cage. They might just sit in one spot or just hang around the basking spot all day and not move. You may also notice their color darkening, and that's even when they're warm. You know your iguana will darken when they've been out of the basking spot for a while and out of the heat, but this is just all the time, all around, darkness of the skin. Another thing to easily identify is sleeping during the daytime. Either you've really set your timers wrong, or there's something seriously wrong with your iguana if they start to sleep during the daytime. Now, all those symptoms by themselves aren't really something to worry about. After you've noticed a couple, though, I'd start considering taking your iguana to a vet. And that is the only option at that point. If you think that your iguana is sick, the only real solution is taking them to the vet. There's nothing you can really do yourself to cure an iguana's illness unless you go to a professional, because you don't know what it is. It could be parasites, they could have an internal injury, you don't really know, so I always suggest taking them to a vet before you try and look up any weird solutions that you can do at your, your own home or how to, because there's no way I'll ever make a video about how to cure your iguana sickness in the privacy of your own home. That's just not a good idea. But I will talk about how to prevent these sicknesses from happening. One quick thing to check is UV. Uh, you gotta make sure you got the right UVB in your cage, right amount, right dosage for your iguana. You gotta make sure you're giving them calcium too. And um, that's one quick thing to check. So one solution, obviously, is making sure that your salad is well balanced, making sure the right amount of greens, vegetables, and fruits are all in there, um, or varying their diet. They can get bored of their food, and that might be a reason why they're avoiding it. So you can try and do that. Another thing is the water dish. The water dish is just always full of, ready to be full of bacteria and germs and nastiness. So if you're cleaning that out every day, good on you. If you're not, then you definitely need to uh, pick up the pace and get that thing clean. Um, another thing is checking the temperature of your cage, making sure that the basking spot is the right temperature and the rest of your cage isn't too hot or too cold. Making sure they've got plenty of spaces to chill if they need to, like hidey holes. If they're getting too stressed out, you might need to move them into a different room. I know my room personally has a lot of traffic, uh, people traffic that is, so if your iguana is too stressed out, they might start acting more lethargic, being skittish, darkening. Another sign of stress is the skin color always staying dark, so that could be that. And um, if they're sleeping in the daytime, uh, really the only thing I can recommend is checking to make sure your timers are right and uh, taking into consideration daylight savings, stuff like that. Or maybe you're not giving your iguana enough night hours and day hours. Just try and keep it balanced, guys. I know you might want to be that kind of dude that's like, yeah, they should get more daylight than they should nighttime because that's when they're active and they like to hang out. Uh, but they do need their sleep, just like you and me. So let's try and keep it at at least 10 hours of dark, is what I always try and do. Make sure they get a nice, healthy amount of sleep. And uh, it's right next to the windows, so if I'm wrong, they at least get some daylight in from the uh, actual sun to keep their internal clock in check. Um, other than that, there's really not much you can do. If you notice a bunch of signs that your iguana has got something wrong with them, take them to the vet. That's, that's about all I can recommend. You can try and prevent sicknesses, by making sure you're taking care of your iguana right and uh, following my care tips. <laughs> yeah, self-plug right there. Your iguana will never get sick as long as you follow my advice, right guys? But anyways, um, that's pretty much it. You can try and prevent it, but of course, your iguana's pretty much bound to get sick at some point in their lives. Uh, it's just how it is. Everybody gets sick no matter how well you take care of them. You can't just quarantine your iguana <laughs> and keep them in a, an isolated cube for their entire lives. They're bound to experience some sort of sickness, so. When it happens, get them to a vet, have them checked out, and it'll be over before you know it. That's the best way to do it, because you always got to take care of your iguana like your own little 
your own little child, right, Yulia? That's what I thought. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you around. <laughs>